Hey guys, this is Zendo with the Tears of the Kingdom YouTube channel, and I am excited to show you this new build. Um, one of the things that is awesome about it is that it goes up walls. And I saw something similar to this on Reddit a month or two ago, and it was a lot more complicated. Here I have something really simple, um, and I just hopefully I can show you some uh, cool stuff and so it even kind of flies because of the uh, motor and propeller um, it's a really sort of like strong combo it makes your builds super powerful almost too powerful you have to figure out how to counterbalance uh, but it has this really cool slow motion uh, feel to it because of the shock emitters um, it's almost like the tires have a little resistance because of the electricity. And I just wanted to show you that it does go up walls. That's my house up there. So I'm going to show you how I can just drive up to my house. And you can definitely not do this with normal builds. And, you know, I went through a lot of versions of this. I had added two fans and I, and I had a lot of wheels and... Um, this is all I need. It's 11 Zoni. It's two big wheels, a steering stick, a sled, four stabilizers, a motor, a propeller, and a shock emitter. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it, okay? But first, I just wanted to show you some of the cool things that it can do. And I'm going to attempt to try to go up a steeper mountain. Of course you do run out of energy, but it is such a cool build. I mean, um, like I said, I went through a lot of versions of it. I had uh, the, some iron rods on here, um, but this, I decided I'm gonna call it the Scorpion. Um, maybe I'll add something um, coming out of it to make it look even more like a Scorpion, but you know, with these builds, sometimes it's difficult to make something super, super solid. Uh, definitely possible, but it's tricky to make it to where, you know, if you hit a rock or a mountain, uh, it's not going to break off like a lot of the, you know, you know emitters and, um, you know, stakes break off a lot too. And so um, I would love to see what you guys come up with. Um, I encourage you guys to use this build. Um, I intentionally didn't add any weapons to it so uh, that you guys can, you know, make your own in, uh, improvisations and, um, you know, add your own things to it. And I would love uh, for you guys to share it on this page if you can share on the comments uh, things that you make with this build because I, I really believe that anyone can, can build this and not only that but um, I've seen so many awesome builds and I'm convinced that the people that play this game are some of the smartest people out there and um, I know that you guys are gonna come up with some really amazing things and um, let me go over here so I can kind of show you um, what it does so it's great because I mean you don't want to fall super deep in the water but it's great like that you can literally go up the mountain walls with it. And this is a tricky wall because I'm like in the corner here. But um, I'm hoping that I can get up there. Uh, it should be fine. It's just going to take me some time. Um, There we go. It's getting up there. I have it uh, all the way to the left. So it's kind of doing like a left turn. These walls are tricky because they have that crag at the bottom. Um, it's more for like mountain walls. So just keep that in mind. It's not for like super, uh, you know, straight, um, you know, uh, walls more for like four by four you know um 
driving up like mountains and so um, I want to attempt to get over there to those mountains so I can show you a little bit more um, and let me just do that and it just drives really cool I know it's like not as fast as some of you guys uh, might want to go but the fact that it kind of goes up mountains and um, is really really awesome you know because um, like I said I, I went through a lot of versions of this and I it took me a while to, to actually get this and I'm amazed at how simple the uh, final you know version ended up being and these uh, stabilizers are <laughs> amazingly stable you know they 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 actually um, don't really break and so I'm gonna try to go up this wall for you guys um, just to show you how if you have this build you can get around some tricky situations um, and not you know have to leave your build behind because of the terrain this will actually get you around quite a bit um, so let's see if I can get up there so I mean that was a pretty big wall guys I mean you can definitely not get up that with a normal build like that even with four tires, you, you can't do this. So, um, I'm going to get to where I'm going to show you guys how to do this and how to build it. Um, I'm sure you guys can figure it out, but just to kind of show you what I did, um, I'm going to go ahead and build it for you guys. Hey guys, so I'm here at Geminic Shrine in Akala. And I'm going to show you how uh, to get the materials you need for that build. A lot of you guys uh, know how to do this already and you figured out, you know, where I got everything from. Um, but I'm doing this for the ones that don't know because my page is uh, basically aimed at, you know, beginners. I'm trying to help people who are struggling and who want to have a lot of fun uh, playing this game so that's what my uh, page is kind of aimed at and who my page is aimed at is it's mostly like the beginners and of course all of the fans and, and all that stuff but uh, when it comes to tutorials it's it's mostly for the beginners all right so what you want to do is you want to uh, equip a shield so you want to make sure you have you know at least one or two shields for this um or you know weapon anything you can fuse to and you want to go ahead and fuse the motor and then you grab another shield and you simply fuse the propeller. And that's all we're going to need for this build, guys. That's all. Uh, the, for other builds I have, I, I need two motors and, and all this. Um, but here we have a motor shield and a propeller shield. So that's all I need. And for that, I'm going to go back to uh, Tarrytown uh, to... Um, get it the materials removed and of course you guys are familiar with this process and this game has been out for a while now and um so a lot of you guys know what's up but like i said i'm, I'm showing you guys just how to do it from scratch all right guys so i'm here in tarry town with our boy pellison and i'm gonna have him remove the um propeller and the shield uh, propeller and the motor for my shield and so let's just do that right now. And it's only 20 rupees to do this, so it's pretty cool, pretty cheap. Um, all right, so when you do this, you basically want to remove um, the materials so that you can do it again. But then after you're done, you can kind of build here if you want. Uh, let's just get your shield. Put the motor on the side. And now let's get the propeller. What 
already six. <laughs> Okay, so now we got the motor and propeller and you want to make sure you align it with that other dot that's there so you can get a solid fuse on your build. All right, so now we're going to need um, four stabilizers. Go one, two, three, four and a sled steering stick um, shock emitter okay so first thing I'm gonna put on there is the steering stick just to get it out of the way I'm actually going to use this platform really quick until it gets too heavy. Okay. And then I'm going to bring out the two big wheels. Get those out the way. And you can just kind of place these and, and they'll, they'll stand up straight for a minute if it's on something that's really flat. Um, and just want to and put that toward the front right there like there we go that's good and then you want to make sure of course that the wheels are facing the correct way and bring that toward the front it's good to bring the tires as close to the front as possible so that you know the sled is not in the way when you're climbing um, like right here it feels like this one it's a little bit further back but I'm, I'm gonna let it slide for this um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the stabilizers on there it's a little quiet there we go grab one and the way that I face the stabilizers is, to me, the front is like, you know, these two eyes. And so I want to make sure that it's well on, not like, you know, on the side, like well on the rear um, end of the sled. So it's got to be like right on there. Boom. That looks pretty good. And then you're going to start curving forward as we go so bring this toward you and this one is actually gonna stay um, the same it's not gonna be uh, at an angle or slanted because uh, you want it to be somewhat off the ground um, so that the propeller has you know space to, to move and so this third one you do want to put at an angle not all the way but just once just one time forward. And again, you want to make sure that it's solid on right on the head. Hit the nail on the head right there. You want to hear that sound. Not a slide. You want to hear a... That's how you know you have good placement on it. Okay. Make sure uh, you can see the eyes. And I'm going to tilt it again and move it up a little bit. And for this, you just want to center it as much as you can. That's four. Oh, you know what? Actually, I messed up with this one. This one has to be slanted a little bit more, guys. So like this. And this is a tricky one. I'm going to do a side sort of um, fuse here so I can see it better. And we can always detach and try again if it's not on the solid. Like There you go. You want to hear a sound. And that's going to do it. 
So now we want to um, put in the motor and uh, propeller. And I always want to be symmetrical um, with these. If you can see, it has like four little uh, protrusions or like four little grooves that come out. You know, and you want to kind of use those to be able to place it in the best way. I don't like my builds being sloppy. Um, so, like this. And you want to make sure that the propeller is not going to hit the these stabilizers here so try to bring it out not too much toward the front you can try doing this um, I guess we can try doing that if it's solid and let's let's try this out I'm gonna bring out the shock meter because that's what gives the propeller um, and I don't let me see if it's I don't really like the way this fan is um, it's not centered enough for me, so I'm gonna try again. And do this right here. And that's better. And guys, if you uh, just do this real quick, if you ever have any problems, uh, you know, building in weird areas, you can always use a stake. Okay, you can bring a stake and and just put the sled on there. And now you can, you know, build a little better without all that stuff. So um, there we go. Make sure that looks pretty good. And. You want to go ahead and remove the stake, but don't touch this or anything. Go for the stake because uh, if you touch something else, okay, if I were to do this, then the whole thing would fall apart. But you want to make sure you touch, you select your stake. Okay, and so now I want to bring out the shock emitter and fuse it. Um, and I'm going to put it right Let me see where can I put it. Let me put it back on the stake so that I can put it where I need to put it. Uh, All right. So where I want to put it is basically like just in a way where it's not going to be in a place where it's not going to be in the way. So, let me climb up here. This is not the best place to build. But here we are. And I'm going to put that right there. And let's see if that... See that works. Oh, and we got it. Okay. Now let's remove the stake. And test it out. It's a pretty solid build. Um, it doesn't break so easy like a lot of them do. Um, so. Where am I? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> this is a horrible place to be if you have a build like this. There we go. All right, so now we're out of Tarrytown and let's try to use our build. I don't like how I placed this uh, shock emitter. So I'm going to put it somewhere different. 
I'm just going to attach it to the actual um, motor. But not to where it's touching the propeller. Just right there. Actually, I want to go maybe a little higher than that. And that should be good. All right, let's test this baby out. Seems to be doing pretty good. Let's see if I can go up this. Um, yep. So there you go, guys. I mean, it's a pretty awesome build, and I hope that this tutorial helped you. Um, if it did, please subscribe and hit the bell. And um, I will be making a lot, you know, more cool stuff that I hope you guys enjoy and it is a little slow but it's really fun like if you're driving it it's really fun to drive and so I'm gonna go up these mountains here to show you I, I mean you can make it faster but I wanted to keep it again very simple for you guys to sort of modify it and do your own things to it Got a <laughs> black boco chasing me here. So it's a, um, I think it's a, a pretty cool build. I went through a, quite a few different versions of this, and so um, this is the best one that I came up with. And I hope that you guys find it useful. I definitely have. I'm definitely going to attach some, you know, weapons to it. Um, but right now, I'm just kind of having fun with, uh, with it and kind of getting to, to know it. And because I think I'm going to, I added it to my favorites and I'm definitely going to try to uh, make some, ch some, all, um, some changes to this, you know. Um, if you guys have any recommendations to it, uh, um, you know, any recommendations uh, for it, like, you know, if you, if you have any advice for making it uh, better, um, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Um, other than that, I will uh, talk to you guys next time. I hope you enjoy this build. And thank you for tuning in to the Tears of the Kingdom YouTube channel.